Bienvenue, bienvenidos, saluete, welcome. My name is Claire Palanis and I'm the faculty advisor to the World Language Honor Society, as well as being one of the French teachers and the Latin teacher here at the high school. On behalf of the administration and the World Language Department, I would like to thank you for joining us online for this socially distant celebration of our newest members. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our administration and the world language teachers for all their support of these remarkable students, particularly over the last year. And last but not least, I would like to recognize our officers. Anna Nasa, our president. Hannah Yadu, our vice president. Jade Kimmel, our treasurer. Violet Bukorek, our public relations officer and Benjamin Pahaki, our secretary. I would like to thank our officers for all their efforts with inducting our newest members. I will now turn the ceremony over to your president, Anna Nasa. Good evening, my name is Anna Nasser and I am president of the World Language Honors Society. As a student and friend, I'd like to commend the inductees for their hard work and perseverance throughout the past year. To say that 2020 was a challenge for all of us is an understatement, but these students have continued to pursue their education in a new language with stunning diligence. Juniors and seniors being honored today have completed at least two years in a foreign language and have sustained a grade of 92 or above in set classes. Students in WHS impress us with their hard work leadership, and compassion. Personally, I have studied the Spanish language since being in first grade. From a very young age, I have been told that people change people, and being proficient in a language other than English is key to this statement. Language is necessary for solid communication. Knowing a language helps you to connect to the world around you. It stimulates the brain, improves your attention span, and in turn, improves your first language. Spanish has helped me find who I am. This language and many other languages are finding places, not hiding places. There's an old Spanish proverb stating, donde hay gana, hay mania. In other words, where there's a will, there's a way. This proverb has been an inspiration. Inductees all have this will. They are hardworking and diligent. Most of all, they have continued to pursue their chosen language. This is impressive, as many students do not have the time or effort available to devote to becoming proficient in a new language. Their will is strong, and their care and devotion to these languages do not go unnoticed. Inductees, welcome and congratulations. I hope your will continues to be so strong, and you continue your hard work pursuing your foreign language. Thank you. At this point in our ceremony, we will say the Pledge of Allegiance, not only in English, but also in some of the other languages that our students study, and in some cases, speak at home. We feel that there is no better way to honor the use of language than to use it in its multiple forms to pledge allegiance to the country we all love. For in the end, it is the meaning and sentiment behind words that is the most important aspect of them, not the language in which they are spoken. This is a tradition that has been practiced by the World Language Honor Society for over 20 years. Over those years, many have told us that they found it to be the most touching, meaningful, poignant, and patriotic part of the ceremony. We hope you will feel the same way. That said, I now introduce to you Kai Bo, who will lead the pledge in English. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic and the visible avec liberté et justice for two. Yo juro lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América. Un día y a la república. 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 Y
unteilbar mit Freiheit und Gerechtigkeit. Fidem meam obligo, vexilo civitatium Americae. Foider tarn. Voctoris so one representovane, jere nadud, pore bogiam, il polgione, jvonosha, ispravi levosha, jlajevski. Je prends seulement ta légende, le drapeau des États-Unis d'Amérique, et à la fois. Y a la République qui représente une nation, par Dieu, indivisible, con liberté et justice pour tous. Schöne Treue auf der Fahne der Vereinten Staaten von Amérique. Torum et re publicae, pro qua stat, uni nationi, deo ducente, non dividendi, cum libertate, Justidiaque omnibus. Sustengam virnos flatse. Stanas zied nocionic imerici. And to the Republic, for which it stands. Una nation. Una nation. Yere nadud. Uni nationi. Ein nation. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In choosing members of the World Language Honor Society, we ascertain that the inductees possess the following characteristics, scholarship, leadership, good character, and cultural awareness. I, Hannah Yadu, will explain the scholarship criteria. Violet Bakorik will talk about leadership. Ben Pahuki will describe a person of good character. And Jade Kimmel will discuss cultural awareness. Our members of the World Language Honor Society lead the organization through their involvement in school and extracurricular activities and constant effort to promote world languages. They are the voice for excellence in language learning in our community. Our members must display unwritten ideals. They are students who are responsible and self-disciplined. They set high ideals for themselves and serve as role models for fellow students. The members must perceive and accept the cultural diversity that exists within our global society. They must realize the importance of interacting with and in diverse geographical, cultural, and political environments as we delve into the future. The inductees must have demonstrated exceptional skill in the four areas essential to a world language student, speaking, reading, listening, and writing. The transmission, or handing on of the torch, is a ceremony which used to take place in ancient Greece. For this solemn occasion, the citizens lined up at equal distances one from the other, forming a sort of chain. The first one in line lit the torch at the altar, ran to transmit it to a second, who transmitted it to a third. Thus, from hand to hand, each citizen ran without a backward glance, keeping alive the flame which he was to hand to another. Plato recognized, in this running with a torch, the image of the succeeding generations of life. I will now light the mother candle from which our light will be transmitted to each language honor student. The mother candle. Each has a candle in his or her hand. Its flame symbolizes with its heat the inspiration towards high ideals. It typifies our course of life. Thus, without burning, it exists, but does not live. That candle's reading. 
If they burn me, I live. If not, I die. May our lives never be candles unburned. It is my distinct pleasure to now present to you our new members, who were sworn in reciting their oaths earlier this month. I will start with the inductees of the World Language Honor Society for French, La Société Honoraire de Français. The inductees are Isabella Barhorst, Carissa Bayak, Bridget Bennis, Chelsea Henry, Alexis Chikakis, Brianna Kimmel, Andrew Rampula, and Madison Schaff. I now present to you the inductees of the World Language Honor Society for Spanish, La Sociedad Honoraria Hispanica. The inductees are Dahlia Abad, Elizabeth Aguilar Delgado, Marcela Barnhorst, Craig Connell, Jake Anthony DeJuno, Emily Dong, Isabella Florentino, Kapil Foster, Avery Freiberger, William Herlihy, Victoria Jakakis, Nahal Jungda, Zachary Jessup, Emily Kim, Ariana McCarthy, Alex Mistretta, Isabella Panetto, Lauren Nicole Rivera, Brett Sanders, Daniela Scanlon, Kayla Schramm. Rachel Seal, Emily Smith, Reagan Sullivan, Alison Tegnander, Natalia Vasquez, Cameron Elizabeth Walsh, And Ryan Zarelli. Congratulations to all of the newly inducted members of the World Language Honor Society. Thank you to all students, parents, and teachers for watching and helping us celebrate the induction of our new members and making the ceremony as normal as it can be during these unprecedented times. On that note, congratulations to the new members on your outstanding achievements in your foreign languages. Additionally, I would like to thank Mr. Quinlan for putting this whole video together and making this induction possible. Now, inductees, you have indicated continued excellence in a foreign language. I know it can be a long and arduous task spending all those years conjugating verbs, learning tenses, and memorizing vocabulary words. However, 
you should be incredibly proud of your accomplishments and perseverance in the language. The satisfaction you get when sticking with the language is breathtaking, especially when you start seeing connections between your different languages or actively engaging in conversation with other native speakers. Learning a language sheds light on the aspects of our own culture we have not previously considered and lets us have greater appreciation for the world around us. And you have served as role models in promoting cultural awareness, and we are beyond proud to be able to recognize your hard work and achievements. We can't wait to see what you do as you excel in your cultural and language journey and as members of World Language Honor Society. So thank you and welcome to the World Language Honor Society.